We have to get into the breaking news involving our government's investigations into former President Trump. Both the Justice Department and Trump's legal teams have just submitted dueling proposals for a special master in the Mar-a-Lago documents case. DOJ putting forward retired federal judges Barbara Jones and Thomas Griffith. Trump's lawyers have also selected a federal judge, Raymond Deary, as well as lawyer Paul Huck Jr., the former deputy attorney general for the state of Florida. And there is more breaking news. The New York Times reporting this evening the Department of Justice has now subpoenaed two of Trump's former White House advisors. The Times says former White House political director Brian Jack and senior policy advisor and writer Stephen Miller are among more than a dozen people getting subpoenas this week. According to the paper, the move is, quote, part of a widening investigation related to Mr. Trump's post-election fund raising and plans for so-called fake electors, according to people briefed on the matter. The January 6th committee has also been looking into Trump's fundraising schemes. Here's how they describe what was going on during one hearing. Between Election Day and January 6th, the Trump campaign sent millions of fundraising emails to Trump supporters, sometimes as many as 25 a day. The emails claimed the, quote, left-wing mob was undermining the election implored supporters to, quote, step up to protect the integrity of the election and encourage them to, quote, fight back. But as the select committee has demonstrated, the Trump campaign knew these claims of voter fraud were false. Committee member Congressman Jamie Raskin says he's not surprised the DOJ has taken a closer look. It's always been uh, a scheme for self-enrichment for him. And I'm glad that people are finally starting to bear down on the financial details because they decided to make money off of the election. You might say, sure, Jamie Raskin will say that. He's a Democrat. But I want you to listen to this from one-time Trump lawyer Ty Cobb. You might remember he represented Trump and Trump's White House during the special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. Well, now Cobb says the situation for Trump is not looking good. I think the president is in se serious legal water, not so much because of the search, but because of the uh, obstructive activity he took in connection with the January 6th proceeding. I think the and the attempts to interfere in the ele election count in Georgia, uh, Arizona, Pennsylvania, and perhaps Michigan. What do you think the possibilities are of an indictment of former President Trump? I think they're very high. 